This video may contain content that some parents may not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. Okay, let's get it. What's poppin' everybody? It's your boy Sean from Collector's Closet coming at you with another review. And today we're gonna take a look at this big motherfucker. <laughs> nah. It's the DC Multiverse Dark Sea or Dark Side, however you want to pronounce it. I'll say Dark Side, but I've heard different pronunciations of the uh, name. This is by McFarlane, of course. The Justice League 2021 down at the bottom. You get your typical McFarlane packaging. Well, not typical. This one is a lot bigger because <laughs> this figure is huge. Uh, so you get a open window box shows the figure and the accessory on the side you get dark side justice league on the back you get a good picture of dark side with all this explosion and all that shit man from the move from justice league at the bottom you get everyone that's in this wave and i pretty much am yeah i have every last one of them yep i have all of them And on the other side, not much, just dark side. So, I said for the packaging, we're going to go ahead and unbox this. If you're new to the channel, we do all of our unboxes while recording. So, get my handy dandy razor box cutter. We're going to cut this thing open and see what how good it is man i heard there's a lot of quality issues with this particular figure we'll see i know i did a review on that uh that dr fate and that thing was a piece of shit man i do not recommend buying that if you see it stand clear i mean that thing fell apart right out the package I gotta pull this away and there it is this thing is heavy man Put the box to the side and get this here again so I can cut them out. But yeah, that Dr. Fate, man, was fucking horrible. The quality on it was just terrible, man. I mean, it fell apart right out the package. You know what I mean? And honestly, man, I think I'm up. I think I'm going to pose him right on my shelf exactly like that. Because that's pretty dope. Let's see if I can get him out of here. There he is. Sorry about shaking the camera. And we have his. I don't know what you would call this, but <clears throat> that's that. And that's it for accessories. Other than, um, you know, you get your standard collector's card and the standing puck. But let's start off with the accessory i don't know what you would call this thing man some type of staff or whatever but the details and the paint on this thing is excellent i say it about mcfarland man they kill it when it comes to paint accessories etc but look at that the detail is done very nice it's pliable very soft very soft but the details on it is extremely good Got some black wash on it. Got this silver plastic or I think that may be paint. I'm not 100% sure, but looks really, good. really, really good. <clears throat> Set for the accessories. Let's move this dude here close and let's take a look at him. Start with the head. I mean, make f yo, look, check it out, man. They kill it, yo. This thing looks fucking amazing, man. Like, seriously, the paint is done excellent. See the white eyes. See the details on the face, the chest, the stomach. I like this blue pearlescent armor that's all over him, covering him. On the front, the 
legs, the boots. Look at that, man. Look at all this detail on black wash. It's the back, <clears throat> the head. I mean, this dude is huge, man. He's huge. And he's done very, very well. Looks really good, man. I will say that. Out of the box, he feels really good. I don't feel any loose joints. I've heard there's a lot of loose joints when it comes to this guy. Sorry about that. I thought I was recording and it has stopped on me. Apologize. So we're going to move straight into articulation. The head can look up that far. It can look down that far, which is really good. He does have left and right. Crazy ass pivot. Look at that for some expression. Arms. Okay, the T-pose on this big dude. You can go up, back. He has bicep swivel. You can see that um, cut there. Mine's just kind of suck, but not that bad. He also has double jointed elbows on this big ass figure, man. That is fucking crazy, man. Double jointed elbows, y'all. You can think. Hit the thinking pose, answer the phone, whatever you want to, you know what I'm saying? That's good. Hands do 360. And they hinge in and out or up or down. I hate that fucking big ass. See how it pokes out on this palm? With the ratchet system, I'm not a big fan of that, but whatever. That translates to both sides as well. And this armor on this side is a little warp, but some heat can fix that, I'm pretty sure. You see how it's kind of flush on this side. Anyway, <clears throat> he has an ab cut, so he can't get back that far. He can go forward that far. He does have tilt on that, <clears throat> and he can swivel up there as well. At the waist, he has swivel. And combined with both, he can hula hoop down there as well. Combined with both, he can go back that far. He can go for it that far. And this is this is <laughs> this is dope, man. I'm not gonna lie. Legs, <clears throat> come on, man. Check that shit out, man. On this big dude, he get the splits. That is dope as hell, yo. Come on, man. There's no. It's not hindered by this armor piece. This is just pliable. So his leg could go forward well, about that far. Could go back. Not much at all. There is a crazy gap up there. Hope that's not. Yeah, that's kind of ugly up in there, man. I'm glad they put this part on, man, so you don't see it. He has thigh swivel. Stool has double jointed knees and mine are kind of stuck well he has single jointed knees actually single jointed knees uh i don't know how i feel about that man considering that we have you know double jointed elbows but it ain't that bad foot hinges down it hinges up really far and you get you get some you don't get any, you don't get pivot on this shit? Come on. Man, that's the only thing, yo. There's no, there's, oh, yeah, they, well, it swivels, but I don't think there's no, no, nah, you don't get any pivot on this dude, which kind of sucks, but I'm not complaining. I mean, you know, for 40 bucks, man, this fucking dope. I'm I'm gonna have to get another one, man. Like I said, I got the other the armored version, but I think I'm gonna keep that one in the box, and I think I want another one of these, man, to keep in packaging, man. I'm gonna put him on the shelf, man. Look at badass. This dude is dope. Like, like ten out of ten for sure, y'all. Sculpt, paint, detail. I mean, he's, 
Man, they nailed it with this dude, man. They nailed it with this guy. Granted, I mean, you get some ugly shit down in here. I'm not sure if the camera's picking that up <clears throat> at all. But it's covered up, so you don't really see it that much. I mean, to me, man, definite buy. Some people had some issues, looseness, etc., and it falling apart. Mine has not. I mean, I don't even have any issues, whatever. I mean, of course, mine hasn't because, you know, this, I'm just now opening it. But I've put it through the ringer with articulation, and he stood it. He stood the test. Unlike that damn Dr. Fate, man, that thing was butt. Super trash. Anyway, let's take a look at his accessory in his hand. I mean, come on, man. I mean, yo, this, I'm not going to lie. So check this out. This is pliable, right? But his hand is stiff as shit. Like, it doesn't move at all. There, there's no give whatsoever. This is hard, hard plastic. So I'm not even sure if I will be able to get this in his hand. Yo. Like, I mean, I'm warping that, trying to do it. You know what I mean? Let me, I'm going to pull away from the camera and see if I can get this in there some way. Damn, man. I mean, I got it in there, but shit. Yeah. So he can hold it, of course. I mean, I'm, this bicep has to swivel. He can get his arm in. I mean, he can hold it, man. I mean, come on. Right. I mean, I'm not trying to pose a damn thing right now. I just want to show that he can hold it in that hand. I don't even know if I'm going to use this. I may. I don't know. I might keep him in that pose that he came in the box and just sit him, you know, on my shelf. Looking badass as hell. You know what I'm saying? How they have it. <clears throat> With this arm raised. Little Ben. Looking fucking awesome, man. We can get this double back a little bit farther. There we go. <clears throat> Check that shit out, man. 10 out of fucking 10. McFarlane nailed it. Only thing I would say is that would make this better is um, ankle pivot and um, double jointed knees. I'm surprised they didn't give it double jointed knees considering they gave us double jointed elbows on this big dude. And his arms and legs are about the damn same size. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I might be picking another one of these up, man. You know what I'm saying? This is dope as hell. I recommend picking it up. It's, it is 40 bucks, but I, I think it's well worth the $40, man. I really do. I got to do a lot of fucking editing because my videos keep cutting. But let me get this out. Subscribe. Smash the notification bell so you're notified. When I do post content, like, comment, share. It really does help out the channel. Helps me out a lot. I see my uh, videos are getting views. It would really, really, really help me a lot if you guys subscribe and share it. Come on, guys. This motivates me to give you content. And, you know, it's greatly appreciated, man. It's somewhere down the line, man, I will be doing a... Uh, giveaway and i got a lot of shit to get you know to pick and choose from but it really does help out the uh, channel man so go ahead and subscribe like comment and share and you know the saying man it's your boy sean and i'm out i'll let you do one